One of the greatest tag teams of all time is set to take their place in the WWE Hall of Fame. It was announced via The Ringer today that the Steiner brothers will be inducted into the WWE Hall of Fame on Friday. They join The Undertaker, Vader, Queen Charmel, and Warrior Award recipient Shad Gaspard in this year's Hall of Fame class. Ceremony taking place after SmackDown at the American Airlines Center in Dallas this Friday. This will be the first time that Scott Steiner has appeared for WWE in nearly two decades. Scott was banned from attending the 2015 Hall of Fame ceremony after an incident with Hulk Hogan's then-wife where he allegedly threatened Hogan. The day after the Hall of Fame ceremony, Rick Steiner's son Braun Breaker will challenge Dolph Ziggler for the NXT title at Stand and Deliver. Rick was in the audience when Breaker won the NXT title for the first time. So, yes, uh, WWE and Scott Steiner have not been on good terms. And, <laughs> um, you know, if you've watched, like, one one Braun Breaker match, I mean, it's it's abundantly clear that they're not allowed to say that he's a Steiner. But it's weird, as we've mentioned, they're not allowed to say that he's a Steiner using those words like, you know, he's the son of Rick Steiner. But they can say everything else. He's a dog-faced gremlin. You know, he, uh, there was uh, the push-ups and the elbow drop in the match with uh, Robert Roode, and it was pointed out, well, we know who that's a reference to. But they wouldn't tell you who it was a reference to. So this the Steiner name has been banned. But... I think it's possible that now that WWE and Scott are on good terms and Rick and uh, Scott are going into the Hall of Fame, I am hoping that that means that tomorrow on NXT, all of a sudden, it's okay to mention that Braun Breaker is the son of Rick Steiner. What would be even better if he became Rex Steiner and we could move on and... Or Bronson Rex Steiner, or whatever you want to call it. just Bronson guy. Steiner would be pretty badass. Right well, there, Vince seems but... like the word Braun, the name Braun. Because, you yeah, know, but I, he's. I think they've Braun means that strong. One. Yeah, and, well, uh, he's strong as hell. Bronson, look, it's a badass. Look, Charles Bronson, Action Bronson, you know, Bronson Steiner. That's a strong, strong name. But I guess it comes Bro, down to. Bro, hold on who... a second. Before you go, go on. Yes. Listen. Yes. And I mentioned this with uh, Vinny Marseglia. I think that's a great name. And he goes mm. as Vincent. It's like, what a waste. <laughs> like, If your actual name was well. Vincent, <laughs> you would want to use the name Vinny Marseglia in wrestling because it's like an awesome name. <laughs> Let's think about the name Bronson Rex Steiner. Okay? Bro. I know you Let guys all up. hate Braun Breaker, the name Braun Breaker and everything. Come up with a better name. Come up with a better wrestling name. Then Bronson Rex Steiner. Bronson, you know, you got the word brawn in it because big, burly, brawny. You get the Brontosaurus, one of the largest dinosaurs. The name Bronson is like a, that's a wrestling name if you ever heard one. This is a tough guy name. Yeah. Everyone knows the Steiners, and you're adding the word Rex to the word Steiner. Bronson Rex Steiner. Brother. Come on! No, Brick Steiner is not better. That's a pretty good name, but it's not Brick. better than Bronson Rick oh, no. Steiner. You guys have completely. Well, we got to call him Bron Breaker. You guys have completely taken this too far. You're you're over. You're way over analyzing this, which is very simply. Yeah, Rex there's Steiner. another one, Miroslav Barnyashev. Oh, well, because well. they can't let a guy use his real name, he's got to be, uh, you know, uh, Rusev. You're, 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 well, Alexander Rusev Miroslav Barnyashev. That is a badass name. Find a better name. For marketing purpose, purposes, I can see why they went Alexander Rusev, and that was still a mighty name when he was when he first jumped off. But bottom line here is the Steiners not only belong in, in the WWF or WWE Hall of Fame, they, they belong in the Wrestling Observer Newsletter Hall of Fame, and it looks like this year's voting is going to have a, a new... Focus on tag teams. There's a bunch that are being added to the equation. Jack and Jerry Briscoe are being added. The Young Bucks are going to be on there. Ricky Steamboat and Jay Youngblood. And the Steiners have been on there. And there has been a real swell of people over the last couple of years that point to how influential and how powerful of a team that they were. And 
again, short period of time in tag team wrestling has never really gotten the due uh, that it, I believe that it deserves to have. But I think the Rick and Scott Steiner, uh, champions wherever they went, WWF, WCW, uh, New Japan Pro Wrestling, and as influential as any tag team of their era. I was reading this book about bats. The book explains that a bat cannot stand and then take off. Okay, a bat can only fla- fall from a great height and then fly. Gotcha. Sting is now a bat. He just goes up on something really high and he falls. He, he did not jump through these tables. <laughs> no, he, he fell. Just, he fell. If you enjoy these videos for just seven dollars and ninety nine cents per month, you can enjoy full length editions of the Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm. The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.